Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. Uh, we gotta head back to town. But before that, to Roseway, but before that we might get uh, her favorite cigarette uh, thingy. I don't know, it seems a little weird, but we're here, might as well do it, I guess. Come on. Mysterious doors are the funnest of the doors. After you. How did we get there? Uh, going totally the wrong way. Not really showing on the map. Oh, it it it, it is showing on the map, but in a weird way. Oh shit! No, no, I don't want to fall down. What are you guys doing in the back? Uh. All right, uh. I'm on the move. Uh. All right, and stay there. Uh. Oh shit! dead already. Wow. On they are way. surprisingly good at ranged attacks. But... Not good enough. Wow, that was quite the jump, Colossus. Uh, yeah, we're not taking the meat. We could take the hide. The meat is just too heavy and it's just not worth it. Oh, outlaws. Are they gonna be friendly? <laughs> They are not hostile. But they are certainly guilty of murder. We can attack them. Is there a way to get uh, friendly with the outlaw faction? This is a bit cheaty on my end. So the groundbreaker kind of loves me. Uh, yeah, we, we know about all these uh, factions. Auntie Cleo, not so much. The deserters love me. Space of choice, not so much. And it, and we can see that uh, making friends with the deserters wasn't the best idea. Wasn't it's not really the most worth it because space of choice actually is present on the groundbreaker, and I suspect it's going to be present somewhere else. And I and I very much suspect the deserters. Uh, most likely will not play a major role in other areas. Most likely they are just uh, limited to the botanical lab. Yeah, you're not taking that. This is just trash. We can sell to the vending machine, I, I guess. Uh, I can sell my junk. Oh, rate the fire. Pfft, okay, I guess. I can just keep buying these. Uh, these don't weigh anything, and uh, I like problem solving items. Yeah, you keep it those. I don't want those back. Uh, what about the guns? So, I think for now, we're good. 
I just want to go back and do a proper trading session. Buy some good guns. Trade with people that love me. Ah, that's trash. <clears throat> Achieve Porter, our Raptodons, seem to be experiencing... I don't know if I want to read this. Uh, we already read so much about this issue. So it seems like they just... Well, they just, they just fucked it up with the Raptors. And... Uh, they got out of hand. No. We're not taking their meat. They're just very heavy. And not worth it. We have to pay attention to the bait value. I'm not sure how would you play at this point if you only had like 80 carry weight. Armed electric fence? So on the electric fence. We don't need the electric fence. Security blade is uh let's just trash it. It's not really worth trashing it though, I suspect. Finders keepers, Captain. Cobbled exosuit, but it's trash. Well, okay then. I can uh, certainly pick a fight with the outlaws. I'm not sure if I want to. Move along. I guess we don't have much of a reason to. I can get some extra XP, but ah, uh, and also some some gear, I, I suppose. But I don't really care too much about that. Seriously, don't get yourself killed. It's a nice cigarette case, but it's still just a cigarette case. Nah, I'm I'm taking this super seriously. I I don't think there's a there's any way to get your cigarettes out. I'm leaving them there. I didn't think so either. Maybe when the Raptodons clear out, I'll check back. See you around. <gasps> so... It's it's in junk or what? It's a quest item. <laughs> okay. So what am I going to do with the dumb cigarette case? It, it didn't even fail the mission. I, I did manage to fail one mission. Return to Orson, but I was a tall dick. <laughs> so... Yeah, we might want to speak to them. Space! We can go back to Gladys. Uh, what I'm a little foggy about is... <clears throat> if we return... Uh, the data to the scientists. I suspect that data is like one time use. Oh, Marauders. That's usually how it goes in games. Even when it's data that you can easily copy. Here we go. I like Shog. It seemed to work not as good on humans. But it's really good against robots. Uh, I guess we'll be taking that just to sell. Sometimes happens because of my speed skill. 
it's not very good. I don't like it because it's percentage based. It's not something you can rely upon. Oh, come on. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Because we got a perk. But also the next level will be even more interesting. Because my companions will get a perk. So... Uh, we can uh, increase the determination. So, uh, none of my companions are going to have a little bit more health, but also uh, they heal for more. But it might be a better idea just to pop ranged a little bit. So, this way we kind of max out on long guns, and also get a little bit better with handguns, that, that I do use from time to time quite a bit. And also I can, better with, uh, can get better with Persuasion. It's, it doesn't seem like it's super important right now. Uh, but we would be able to get a lot of points here. And who knows, we, we may go to a, a tougher area where uh, speech checks are, are indeed uh, much more difficult. So, and I, I don't want to fail the speech checks, like, those are my, my main thing. So, perks. Uh, based on what we saw last time, it's just not that interesting here. I don't know if you want to go for consumable weight. Like, we might just go for extra headshot and beat spark damage. Base armor rating is a little bit meh. And the XP is something we could have picked up earlier, but I don't really want to pick it up right now. So... Scanner seems like the best choice for combat. Harvester is... It's just worse for combat. Like, it's pretty easy to tell, like, you know, Harvester happens after you kill somebody. But, like, what are the things that help us do things? Not help us do... Help us maybe, like, uh, keep keep going. Like, this is, like, a little bit way more. Well, of course, it might happen that, you know, we kill somebody and just heal up a little bit. And that, that kind of matters, maybe. So, this is not terrible. But this is far, far worse than potentially just 20% extra DPS and everything else is just uh, seemingly uh, a bit questionable uh, this is the my favorite one the scanner and after that I have no idea what we're gonna go for no clue but this is the best option right now and also I want to up my gun skill, so we can gain access to the long gun headshot and weak spot damage, plus 20%. So, I get a little bit better at uh, just using my gun. Uh, they don't have a perk right now, but next level we might go for something like a bonus uh, skill that they can provide. Well, maybe not necessarily uh, these characters, but uh, provided most likely going to be a permanent in the team. I just like her too much. We'll see about the rest. Maybe we might just do some uh, swapping from time to time. Range damage seems okay, but also we got to keep in mind that I already have like a plus 94% uh, damage increase on them. So that's that may not be as uh, important. We seem to be pretty good at killing stuff. Oh, I ran into a mine and now I'm concussed. I'm not exactly sure how much the the adreno heals. Can we check? Uh, twenty five percent health over two seconds. Wow, so that's actually really good information that I was not not sure about. 
So, by upping the medical, uh, actually, I'm a little bit penal penalized here, but it's it's almost like 40 percent ish. And the companions don't quite receive full value, or do they? It seems like they don't, but I, I might be okay. Who knows? Oh! Fuck, I went the wrong way. Oh yeah, we're heading toward the ship for some dumb reason, but I actually want to head into town. I marked the wrong thing. Let's speak to Anton. We're a little sleepy and concussed from the mine. And uh, I'm not sure about the heart. Oh shit. Open fire. Oh my god, we took a lot of damage. Wow. I think, yeah, I, I really want to up the determination still. On this difficulty, it's just, uh, it just needed. Basically, I double their health uh, with every trick I do. Well, every every choice I made for them, so my determination is higher, and they have higher base HP. That kind of doubles their HP, uh, from what I can tell. And it would be impossible to use companions without that. And of course, I try to like uh, like they have armor bonus and health bonus, and I'm giving them health. So and even like that, it's 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 close. You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. I'm just gonna tell him that. <laughs> I have your research, but I'm keeping it. The outlaws got away with the research. <laughs> manner of distressing. There truly is nothing left for me. I suppose I'm... Uh, we're finished here. I suppose I'll be going. <laughs> oh man! Well, I just want to be a dick to people now. Roseway. But it doesn't count as a failure. Speak to Vaughn. I just go through all this trouble to get his research. And like, no, it was lost. <laughs> I really hope Gladys appreciates me uh, being a dick to everyone else. Any news on the thing we spoke about? You know, that thing? Before that, I had, I had a question. Sure, whatever you need to know. Can I betray you? Ah, never mind. Hey, whatever. If I'm not getting paid by anybody else for your work, uh, then I then I guess I would just give it to you. Don't keep me in suspense. Did you get my stuff? I mean, not mine. It's for other parties. Buyers. Keep half? Here. If you set your equipment up properly, it would have yielded more. Life 400, uh, like 100. The place was trashed. There were raptors all over. I tuned the equipment for you, so there's a bit more than you expected. Keep off. <laughs> oh my god, Let, let's lie. I'll remember that. I'm not the greatest technician. This is gonna make me so popular. I mean, with the people who buy it, not by using it. Because I'm not. Of course not. You're definitely going to use it. Only for testing purposes. Quality control. You would, right? Oh, my reputation well. 
Vent up. Sure. Take this. You earned it. If you run into me again after all this is over, maybe I'll have more. Oh. Pleasure doing business with you. I like lying. Ellie, you're giving me the lying skill. I like that. <laughs> Hundred lie. The place was trashed. But at that point, why would I even talk to him? I would just not show up. Return to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. Okay, so many completed. Uh, Rose of A. Find Captain Irion on Scylla. Acquire the science weapon of the Groundbreaker. Track down Reginald Cheney. Okay. So, we gotta go back to the ship. Uh, wrong thing. And uh, just check out the shops. I leveled up pr pretty recently, so maybe they have some uh, good stuff. Plus, plus, also, they like me. These guys, they don't like me that much, I think. I have I have the feeling maybe they don't like me a, a, a crazy amount. Uh, where are they? Auntie Cleo, mixed feelings about me. Mixed feelings. I don't know how I manage that, but they only have mixed feelings about me. They don't they don't hate me. Actually, that guy kind of got away easy because he got half of his uh, research. He would have had none of it if I wasn't help if I didn't help him at all. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Sure. What do you need? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker? I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and... and ask Junlei to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here. On the ship. That's sweet. Can I help? Bringing her home to meet the family? <laughs> Bold move. Oh man, I want to say that. Unlike strangers in my personal space? I don't know. It's dumb. Well, she can be a friend too. Oh gosh, do you think so? I just figured, you know, there's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here she can relax. Yeah, good thinking. She should come here. Good for you. Any way I can help? I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is... I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm loving this. Ah. Uh... Easy enough. We could head straight over. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Got it. There's no mission that uh, doesn't uh, require Probetti. Man, what's up, robot? You're Are you sure? busy cleaning? I tend to get attached for to companions that I meet earlier, and oh, uh, yes. that's the spot but that's exactly. not exactly I, I, true. I, I, uh, but yeah, in this case, it's kind of true. Like, so also, I'm not a huge fan I of Vicar Max. He's like, head. he's he's okay. Like, he's all business. Oh, oh, that's fine. There you are. Pardon, but. He's Perhaps a worthy addition to the crew. Privacy, please? Let's talk, Kato. Scanning for C254. 
Seven. Grade rated contaminants. Sam, I'm... No, 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 not decommissioning you. So, I, I can't talk to Sam. Perhaps because I'm just not building much of a... Uh, bond between us. Because I've, I've yet to take him on a mission at all. But, maybe we'll do that. Maybe he can come. Uh, when we go to Groundbreaker. Hey, Vicar. I was just talking about you. That you seem to be just <clears throat> in here by yourself. Just doing your thing. Caring about your book. And that's all cool by me, you know. I don't run a tight ship. You know, people are just free to do their own thing. I, I love that. I love that. I want to be a good captain, okay? By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today? I don't know. I do enjoy your input. Uh, you're not as uh, young as most of the crew. And you have a different take on things. I, I, I value that. You know, uh, it's Vicar is not really uh, in a situation where he, he wants to grow. He, he just wants something done. Like, Pavetti is like changing quite a bit. Like, growing... It's very easy to get invested in that. Vicar just wants to get something done. And pretty professional about it. I can appreciate that. <clears throat> we don't really know him that much, but... And it seems like Ellie is just uh, running away from something. And, uh, well, maybe not. But, like, she's a bit of a thrill seeker for sure. And new boy uh, really doesn't have too much going on. Again, he's kind of... Looking to uh, prove himself in a way. I'd like to know something about those I'm flying with. What's your story? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run of the mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Violently enthusiastic? I'm, I'm talking to these companions because I think it's fun as hell, but also, maybe I would just get more interested in them and, you know, I'm not taking Sam on missions right now, and uh, I'm taking Parvati on missions, she's definitely coming next time we're going to the Groundbreaker, but maybe, maybe Vicar piques my interest more, and kind of like this is the job interview to who wants to come with me to the Groundbreaker next time we go there. By or mission, or maybe mission, violently enthusiastic. Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town, much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. The equation. This seems like a religious thing, and... Um, I, I guess I can bond too easily with that. <clears throat> Where were you so... Why were you so passionate about? No, like, you know, if you're thing, that's fine, fine with me. As long as you're not total lunatic about it. My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. That sounds I nice. I wanted that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least find out why I lacked it. Yeah, but I feel like some people kind of like pretend to have that. Not necessarily... It's also your parents, so you're probably not as objective about uh, the scenario. I don't know. I just, I just feel like religion uh, rarely offers uh, true solutions or feel-good stuff. <clears throat> Which could make you feel good in the moment, but not true uh, solutions necessarily. But also, this is a bit of a generalization. I can't really say that. Like, like this has just really come down to uh, the source. Like, of course, uh, maybe people who are just going to give you good advice, you know. Ultimately, it tends to encourage communities. So it's uh, pretty hard to generalize generalize about it. <clears throat> but weren't you they? But weren't they proud when you become a vicar at least? They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. 
Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige, but that was not me. Uh, what's this plan you keep talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not interested in about it, but like, you know, I wouldn't mind talking about it. The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the Grand Plan. Is the Grand Architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? The answers to these questions don't really matter. The equation, the plan, is all that matters. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. Yeah, I... I, I I'll be honest with you, Vicar Max. This just sounds like a... Uh, some, some... Some crazy, crazy cult to me. Uh, like, um, Scientology. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, sure, if you can't help but follow the plan. Like, it actively discourages uh, questioning it, because obviously, like, if you start questioning it, it makes no fucking sense. You know? No religion, like, or like, I, I, no religion I know, actively encourages you questioning things. You just, you should take it on faith. I would want to see one fucking religion that's like, question everything. That would, that's kind of my religion. Like you just question everything, but no, like just take it on faith. I yeah, fuck that. If you can't help but follow the plan, then everything you do is part of it, right? This is just bullshit. The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. You kind of lost me, Vicar, here, because this just kind of sounds like, oh my god, you're seeing it very confidently. And, you know, some people are like, like, oh my god, this guy is so smart, you know? He's making no fucking sense. But that that's because he's just so above me. And, like, he's, he's just so smart. But no, he's just making no fucking sense. And even if this somehow turned out to be correct, which I very much doubt, that's not the way to say it. And like, if, if it makes sense, then, you know, questioning should work. Seems quite trusting of you to just sign on without knowing anything about me. Uh, I guess he knows that I'm I'm a good guy, a good girl. <clears throat> uh, tell tell me again uh, about the book we picked up. That's in French. Bocconu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the philosophist school of thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Hmm. Unfortunately, uh, actually, uh, unfortunately w wasn't the right choice of word, is that actually I am asking Vicar here, not like he's just, uh, you know, going out of his way to like uh, share his views and his religion with us. No, I'm asking him and in a way, <laughs> well, it's not for me, but again, like he just keeps to himself. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just not me, okay, Vicar. It's just not me. If you find more clues along the way, that actually just, you know, because it, it's not necessarily com all bullshit. I'm not exactly sure because you just said almost nothing, but it's not necessarily all bullshit. It might be, might be based on something, or it might, it might be based on. Yeah, it could be pretty vague. Yeah, it just, it's just really hard to generalize about this. Remind me, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, philosophists? <laughs> Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. 
but most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. You already said this to me. So basically, I'm just gonna... And this is a good way to understand things, is that you... Uh, well, maybe not intentionally try to uh, reward things, but like you try to reward things in your own way. And he seems to be saying that, <clears throat> you know, he believes in destiny. Destiny is what he believes in, and uh, you know he doesn't believe in you know a, a a pointless existence, and this is quite uh, common uh, when it comes to fate. Let's talk about this personal quest of yours. Yes, I've been meaning to discuss exactly that. Now that we know where uh, the scholar is, when will we be searching him out? Oh, uh, when we get to that. When I decide we will? As soon as we can, I promise. When I, de <laughs> when I decide we will? Alright. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Vicar, you're out of my crew. I want you off the ship. No, 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 that's just, that's just crazy. No, no, I don't want I'm fine. I'm fine with you staying on the ship. <clears throat> you can even uh, give people spiritual guidance if they want it. Like this is cool. You're good in the fight. You're just your views are just not mine. That's cool. He's a grown man. He doesn't need any hand holding. And obviously, he's he's very sensible. So despite his uh, uh, questionable beliefs, that are just not for me. I'm not, not sure why I'm going to the bathroom. Maybe we find someone, but probably they should be left alone. <laughs> I just want to talk to the companions. So we all talk to Parvati, but I want to talk to the new guy that apparently is, is really hiding. Where are you? Felix, I believe. Felix is how he's called. Ellie. Something on your mind? Oh. No, there's... She's not ready to share more information with me, but I highly suspect there is just more to her. So then I told him she kind of comes off a little bit. So sometimes when I try to pretend to be a <laughs> extrovert, <laughs> uh, never mind that. I don't really do that, but <laughs> never mind that. So, Felix, uh, what's going on here? Good to see you, boss. So, how'd you end up on the groundbreaker? <laughs> what? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. Oh, the back bays. <laughs> oh man. I like his imagination. Ah, no, 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 don't give me a straight answer. Just feed me bullshit. Then you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. I can respect that. You didn't have much choice. You do now. You were a stowaway? That's what they called us. Orphans with no family. No company to take us in. Nowhere to go but the back bays. The words a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the Groundbreaker. It doesn't seem like you have much of a choice on the Groundbreaker, where jobs are inherited. Like, there's just not much... There's not enough to go around, in a way. And and I understand that, because that's like a... That's a calling ship that's not really designed for uh, long-term habitation. At least for not a significant amount of crew. And as long, and if the population is not kept in check, 
then that's a big deal. So, for example, like, let's say if it's, it's good enough for 100 people, but once you go 200, like, what the fuck do you do with 200 people? As long as, uh, you know, you have, like, uh, uh, you, can, you can have enough food for people, and the ship can uh, generate enough power, then it's all great. You know, it's all great. But even then, you know, you would you would eventually run into issues. So it, it's definitely not a situation where a population can just go out, uh, grow out of control, and it would be still fine. <clears throat> How did you manage? Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Yeah. Right. The incident with the tossball stick. I'm not gonna tell him not to attack his own foreman. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a tossball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it? Yeah, I don't have a foreman. What? One-handed melee? Two-handed melee? I know. I had plenty of practice bludgeoning people. Wow. I'm not sure I would say that, even if I had that. You couldn't have been diplomatic about it? I can't... S s blame him. If you have a disagreement, I expect you to be civilized. Yeah, that's that's true. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. The only problem I find with Felix is that Parvati, like, obviously has this, uh, this uh, storyline of she she's growing and uh, we, we hear her views quite a bit <clears throat> and maybe I might hear Felix's too and uh, Felix we're just uh, looking for a, a lucky break actually we need to know Felix more at this point I I'm glad you're not wasting your life holding boxes yeah that's 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 good you can thank me by not giving me any trouble. I don't want to be the, the the sourpuss captain. No, no, no. You know, we we just do enough to get by, or maybe more than that, just to get by fine. But I'm not gonna tell these people what to do. You know, they they contribute in ways you know they they see fit. But of course, you know, everyone's gonna like pitch in with like common tasks. And that's it. You know, if you want to watch like TV shows, you know, you can do fucking do that. You know. We, we make shit ton of money, like, we, we go on one mission and we make like 10,000 scraps and that's, that's, that's good for like, I don't know, long fucking time, okay? I'm glad you're not wasting your life hauling boxes. Please, Felix, if uh, I hadn't picked you up, you'd probably be in a prison cell. I don't know, I, I'm glad you're not wasting your life hauling boxes. Because I, I feel like that's a very common thing that, you know, you should be, like, so grateful. I, I'm just gonna say this. Like, you're just gonna be, like, so grateful for having a job. But let's be honest here. Most jobs are completely pointless. Like, especially, like, when we're, uh, like, getting into the future. Like, you can have robots hauling the boxes. Or you can just, like, eliminate so many fucking jobs that are, like, totally pointless. And they just give you no value. Or they are, they are just designed to to just uh, screw people over, you know? Like, what jobs would you say that, you know, not pointless, and, you know, it's it's designed to benefit the many? I'm glad you're not wasting your life hauling boxes. Yeah. I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. You got Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. You also got yourself to thank for that, you know? We may have matched, but... <clears throat> you know, if you already gave up hope, if he was already the guy who was, like, hauling boxes and already given up on everything, imagine that. This happens to people. You know, like, imagine he he spent, like, 10 more years hauling boxes, and I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna haul boxes all my life. And my ship never comes. But Felix knew. 
I didn't know, but he never lost hope that his, his ship will come. Anyway, let's drink a glass of water after this. If I can find it. Ah, uh, use. Also, maybe eat uh, bread. <laughs> and we're kind of ready to head out. You know, Felix, you know, that that's, I like that story. You're coming with me next time. We're uh, heading to Groundbreaker. What a mess. Uh, one for sure. Uh, last time I took you on a, a like a, a girls' night out with Pervetti, uh, you were not a great fit. But you know I can't can't really blame you. Can't really blame you. He was trying to be funny, uh, and I can definitely appreciate that. But he was not really offering quality input. <clears throat> Let's go to the groundbreaker. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. I'm kind of happy just to ha have Sam on board <laughs> cleaning shit. <laughs> He's also like, oh my god. That's from Sam. Anyhow, so we're heading out, I think. I have so much stuff. We gotta sell. We gotta sell so much crap. Actually, I can replace one of my pistols. So it's not complete garbage. And look at this. It has a condition of 1,800. And this is a condition of... Well, it, it's it's very specific. But 1,800 again. Uh, 1,500, what am I saying? And this is a condition of 5,000. Uh, this is what I wanted to check out. That some some pistols just... Uh, some weapons just uh, break faster. And we can see this uh, condition. It just, it just means that it's a uh, bad build quality, poor materials, because you can even uh, sharpen, like, you can sharpen whatever, you can sharpen everything, you know, to be sharp, but the, you, it loses its edge. <laughs> I know, and it's a pretty simplified example, but, you know, you can, you can make a knife out of anything, but then it's like a piece of trash. You try to stab something and it's garbage. And, uh... It's, it doesn't really apply necessarily to these weapons, but yeah, like, th these are, like, made out of crappy stuff, I guess. Anyway, guys, I think we might just uh, take a break before we head out, and, uh, and then we go to the Groundbreaker. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.